Hey guys, I know it is dark. So before you get to talking about how bad the lighting is, I already know. And that's not why we're here. Welcome to my bedroom, by the way. You see my lights, you see part of my bed, you see my canopy. Welcome to my bedroom. We're gonna talk about this book. It is called Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, Real Crime by Real Killers, Volume 3. The gruesome true story of a hungry, cannibalistic rapist and necrophiliac serial killer. Second edition by Ryan Becker. You can get it on Amazon. It's not an expensive book. I can't remember how much it was, but I know it was not expensive. I was gifted it through my wish list because I like the criminal mind and I have to tell you that upon reading this book I was a little discouraged I feel like the guy that wrote it did not do as much research psychologically that would have been needed to have the kind of opinion he has so, throughout the book, it talks about how Jeffrey Dahmer got his start from early childhood up until he was arrested and charged for his crimes. Well, let me read just a little bit. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer was a man described by his own father as a result of a child becoming lost in a maelstrom while nobody paid attention of the child who was strange and apathetic but who nobody bothered to ask why. The result was catastrophic. So that itself has bigger words and more information for I guess people with larger vocabularies than the entire book has. So if you open the book up and you start at the beginning of the book, it gives you information about how the book, or how Jeffrey started, and how the book is just supposed to be to break things down so that most audiences would be able to understand it, which is okay. But at one point... It makes it sound like the person that wrote this is extremely biased and doesn't have a real understanding of the human mind. It sounds like they just wanted to make sales. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Also, in the book, he calls, he calls Dahmer a psychopath, which I don't believe to be true. If you do extensive research, some people think that he had some kind of disability, um, maybe Asperger's. Other people think that maybe he was a sociopath, and then some people don't think that he was a psychopath or a sociopath through the one that he just had some kind of impairment that was along the lines of some kind of autism, some form of autism, uh, which explains why he couldn't connect with people the right way and he had a tremendous amount of issues like um you could tell he had mommy and daddy issues he was also um, extremely distant so you couldn't really get close to him like on an intimate level without him having like some kind of i guess resistance to letting you in he wasn't one of those people that just let everybody know his information um so he he was intelligent he was charismatic which is common for predators but one of the uh one of the other things at the end of the book that i don't agree with is it talks about how jeffrey dahmer came from a family that was normal and giving and he had no reason to be a monster which isn't true at all if you look at the beginning of the book and you start the reading it explains how the father was distant he he had a good job but he didn't get to spend a whole lot of time with jeffrey and 
Jeffrey didn't have a lot of, he didn't have friends. He didn't have a lot of interaction with anyone. Um, he had also, he had issues. His mother was like um, one of those people that fed off of attention. She always had to be the center of attention. She always had to be the center of the room. She always had to be the one noticed. She would pretend like she was sick to get attention. She would basically do things to draw attention away from Jeffrey and onto her. Um, which of course would create issues with their bond as well. So he never really had anyone there for him. Tell me that's not a home that has issues. Like you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say he came from a, a perfect home and that there shouldn't have been anything wrong with him and that he would not have been a monster if he wasn't born that way because that's not how it is. You, you don't just wake up and decide you're going to be a monster. You're not just born a monster. Most people that are serial killers have some kind of chemical imbalance or some issue in their head. So your environment literally cultivates who you're going to be as a person. So if you have a bad environment, a missing father that's always at work, he's always busy, um, he gives you some attention, but doesn't give you enough. You have a mother that tries to distract attention away from you and wants it all for herself. She doesn't give you the love and uh, energy and attention that you need. And you don't have any friends. You're isolated. You stick to yourself because you don't have anybody. That's, that's not a good foundation. That's not a good start for a kid. So, I feel like this book isn't completely accurate. I feel like the person that wrote it just wanted to make sales. I feel like they had some information and just ran with it without doing research because they think that monsters are just born. Which obviously if you if you know about the brain or you know about psychology, you know that that's not true. That's not true at all. Also, a lot of people don't know the difference in a psychopath and a sociopath, which causes a lot of issues. And um, I think people just need to do more research before they have a biased opinion that is based upon partial amounts of information and just feeds their agenda to sell books. I feel like they just need to do more extensive research because to to say that this person didn't really have feelings or didn't really feel things in the book it talks about how he's a monster that that um, that has to be a psychopath at the very end it literally calls him a psychopath but it talks about him several times in the book experiencing empathy and experiencing remorse. Like, this guy just contradicted himself. He said that Dahmer was a psychopath, but talks about him having remorse. See, that's my issue. I feel like there just wasn't enough research. I feel like this was... Uh, maybe a rush production and the guy just wanted to get sales and make it sound like Jeffrey Dahmer was just the worst thing that ever happened to the gay community or the worst thing that ever happened to his family. Like his brother even changed his name and stuff. But I mean, my point is, I just feel like more research could have been done. This, this could have been better. This could have been more accurate. Um, it could have been an enjoyable read. For me, it just was not because there were too many, there were too many points in it that were biased opinions and not facts. So that's where I'm at with the book. Um, if you want to read it, read it. Tell me how you feel about it. We can compare notes. I'm going to start doing these regularly, reading something and then telling you guys how I feel about it, giving like a um, opinion, my own opinion about the direction of the book. Or about information that the book contains. So this one, yes, had some information in it that was insightful. Like the when it talks about the different 
um, stages of Jeffrey's life where he started, you know, as a child and got older. It talked about um, his curiosities. It talked about uh, different places that he lived. It talked about his victims. But my biggest thing is it just... Those two huge key points for me were that it called him a psychopath and obviously the writer maybe wasn't fully prepared for that um, and then they talked about how he had remorse and um, how he had felt you know that he had done wrong psychopaths don't feel they did something wrong they don't feel that remorse they don't empathize with other people he even said that he deserved to die for his crimes like psychopaths don't do that they don't and then of course the that that was my that was like huge for me and then of course where it talks about him not being from a broken home like those are two huge things to mess up on in a book about a serial killer just throwing that out there those were um no goes for me. I feel like that just ruined the entire book, to be honest. But overall, it's it's a light read, and it is readable for many many audiences because it has terms, very very layman terms. So you don't have to worry about like these uh, psychological terms that you're not going to understand because everything in here is literally just small broken down so that it's easier for you to just absorb the information now if you read the back of the book it has much bigger words and um, it's like a more educated outline because the inside of the book definitely does not have all of that flair I think it's just to draw people in but overall it was a decent read it was informative I just don't feel like all the information was factual I feel like more research needs done anyway again that was uh, Jeffrey Dahmer the real crime by real killers volume 3 by Ryan Beckner and that's the face you guys have an amazing night don't forget to stay hydrated I will see you bad I will see you guys very very soon um, again, if you read it, let me know how you feel about it, okay? Good night, guys.